Video has taken the world of digital marketing by storm over the last decade. My name is Parker DeCover, owner of Prime Edge Media, a full service video marketing company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And since 2020, it's been my mission to help business owners across the nation harness the sheer power of video marketing. And the Camera Roll Chronicles is my attempt to supplement that with the industry's latest trends, as well as stories and lessons that we've learned from client projects and even special guests from adjacent industries. So without further ado, quiet on set please, and action. Guys, welcome back to the Camera Roll Chronicles. I'm your host, Parker, and today uh, we are going to talk about Elon's new plans. So <laughs> actually I have something different for you guys. Um, I put together a presentation. So if you guys like this kind of style of doing um, both live streams and YouTube content, just let me know. Or if you totally hate it, just let me know that too. We are going to get started with, um, firstly, what the announcement actually is because it only came out just a couple of days ago. Um, and then of course, details on how the platform is changing, the platform being X or formerly Twitter. Um, what that means for you as a business owner, and then of course, my recommendations on how you should move forward and what I'm going to be doing as well. Here is what they have done. So, or well, rather what he has done. He is launching a new program that is going to turn X into pretty much a direct competitor with TikTok and Instagram Reels. Considering every other platform right now handles that exact same format, I think they're gonna be a direct competitor of everybody. But they have only said that they're going to be a direct competitor of TikTok and Instagram Reels. So what this means is they're adding video and not just video, but swipeable vertical video to X as well. And I've been kind of waiting for this personally, just as a professional in the space, but I'm glad to see this finally actually happening. And I do think that this is coming in at a very opportune time with everything going on with TikTok. Now, this is going to have a very, very similar feed to all the other feeds on social. It's going to be personalized and therefore they're going to be feeding you content all the time that you actually want to see. Knowing Elon and like what he did with the platform when when they first got started. I don't know how well the, al uh, the algorithm is actually going to perform. I don't know if it's going to be as easy to use as the other platforms, but I'm sure they'll get there. And then of course, the, uh, the beta version is going to be available this summer, supposedly. So I don't, I don't, I'm not totally sure yet, but that's what the rumor has been that the beta version is going to be available this summer. Now, do you guys remember this? Cause I sure do. Vine was hands down like the best video platform ever made. It was just so far ahead of its time in making short form content that the reason that it kind of went down was because they didn't monetize it correctly and they lost all their funding before they could do anything with it. But if you're not familiar with what Vine was, essentially Vine was a platform prior to all the other platforms that introduced short form video. And they had a basically a swipeable platform where you just had six seconds, not 60, six, six seconds to record an entire video. And what this produced was a lot of very funny off the cuff content that really, I think, was the beginning of the modern day influencer. So they are modeling Vine or rather X off of Vine. And they, um, they're doing this because they had a, so they did a survey on a bunch of X viewers. And in fact, I think I took this survey as well um, at some point on the platform where they voted and 70% of their audience voted to bring back Vine. So they know that the, you know, the need is there. And what they're going to be doing is launching a 10 second only short form video platform. Now they did say like there have been rumors talking about like long form and short form video. So I don't know if the whole 10 second thing is true. Although I really, really hope it is because that is going to really force creators to actually create content and not just be blabbing about a bunch of random shit, kind of like what I'm doing right now. I really think that consolidating this down to 10 seconds is going to really show who the real creators are and who the people that are really good at capturing an audience's attention 
are as opposed to those who just got into content. So that's why I, I, you know, I keep encouraging you guys, make sure you use the trainings within the group because that same formula, the hook retain reward is going to apply no matter how long the content actually is. And um, also Elon is kind of, so he mentioned in a couple of different posts that it's a little bit ahead of its time. Like this is a little bit sooner than he wanted to do this because they like, they plan on having this be a thing in a few years from what I understand. However, with the potential of TikTok being banned permanently, they see a huge opportunity to basically shift everyone over from TikTok to X at the time. So I don't know how like feasible that is. And I guess that's going to just kind of depend on what the platform actually ends up looking like and what they end up doing. But nonetheless, if they can pull that off, I think that would be very, very cool. And then of course, like I said earlier, um, feeds will be personalized in a similar format to Instagram reels and TikTok. So it's going to be, I, at least I would assume it would be a very, very easy switch to go from one platform to another. And what this also means, like I said, um, I suspect that they're not just going to be competing with Instagram and TikTok. I believe they're going to be competing at least with YouTube shorts as well. And you'll see why I say that in just a second. But before I get into that, do you guys remember Periscope? Because I do too. And uh, what Periscope was, was essentially the very first, it was like the Skype of video chat or whatever, like video calling. Periscope was essentially the first live streaming platform that was ever given to the public in, I guess, a simple enough format where we could use it on our phone. Before then, you had to use different softwares and shit like that, and it was just a big mess and no one actually did it. But with Periscope, you were able to, it was essentially the first Facebook Live. So what they're doing is they're modeling their live streaming off of Periscope. And Periscope was actually taken off the internet Oh, by the way, if you didn't know this, um, X used to own Periscope. That So, sorry, I didn't give you that context, but Periscope actually used to be owned by Twitter. And it was sh uh, formally shut down in 2021. What they're trying to do here is bring back a live streaming platform as well, and it's going to be modeled exactly like Periscope. So I think that's going to be really cool too. Now their monetization strategy. So they have said in the very beginning, they are not going to monetize anything like they're not going to, you know, be pushing ads at you or anything like that, but they are going to integrate that in the future. The reason that they do that is because they want to get more and more people on the platform for as long as humanly possible and then monetize it. It's much like what we do with our content. You know, you join the free group, then once we've built enough trust and we've shown that, you know, there's actually a need for what you have to offer, then we move into paid stuff. So that's how that works. And um, they're looking heavily into subscriptions and verification services like the, you know, the blue check mark that Meta did because, you know, basically they're making about a quarter or so of their revenue off of just those subscriptions. I don't know if that's just ads or if that's just subscriptions or if it's a little bit of both, but either way, that is how they monetize their platform. They're also going to be allowing exclusive content from high profile personalities. What this means is basically people like celebrities and even like YouTubers with a huge platform, just anybody with a, you know, with a giant audience of like hundreds of thousands of people or more, are going to be incentivized to be posting exclusive content on the platform. They are also going to be doing some rev sharing with their smaller niche creators. And what I think this kind of means is that they're kind of trying to get back at Instagram, who evidently hasn't been paying their people very well, or at least from what I've seen, they haven't been doing that very well. And they're going to try and kind of take that over so that we can or so that they can take people from Instagram Reels over to X as a more lucrative platform. And they have already been talking about partnerships with uh, major sports and media companies like you know, the WWE, the PGA, um, NFL, NBA, um, Paris Hilton, and a bunch of other celebrities that they've already signed deals with. This is just who they've signed. So I have no idea what this is actually going to look like once it's launched. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so on top of just being a, um, a video centric platform with the long form and short form content and live streaming, they're also adding a smart TV app 
that is going to be a direct competitor with YouTube TV and Netflix. Why? Because, and I didn't even know this until today, so YouTube TV, you don't know, like, like not like regular YouTube, but like the, the paid subscription that turned into YouTube TV, they actually get more eyeballs a month than Netflix does now. Netflix is still the overall biggest streaming platform as far as I know, but YouTube TV gets more eyeballs. So what they're gonna try and do is overtake both YouTube TV and Netflix. They're expecting that to launch later this summer. Again, I don't know, like most of the availability dates and stuff like that have all just been kind of hearsay. So I don't know, but I think it'd be really cool if they did launch it this summer. That way, going into a lot of your guys' busy seasons, you guys are going to um, be able to kind of maximize on these platforms and be able to get ahead of everybody else while everyone else is still learning because they're not in a group like this. What this means for us, and what I mean by us is us business owners, or more so local business owners especially. Um, first of all, you're going to get some expanded reach through a new video platform. Now, a lot of it is going to be your audience following you from other platforms. However, if you're on a main platform where um, like it's just not similar to TikTok or Instagram reels, like for example, you know, YouTube, like normal YouTube, not YouTube shorts, or even like Facebook, you know, those types of platforms that people are already on, you're going to start getting followed 2x once you get there. And then also you're going to be able to capture your TikTok audience and move them over in a very smooth transition, hopefully, um, once the TikTok ban actually occurs or rather if it does. Now, if if you want to know like my opinion on that, I don't think it's actually going to get banned with plenty of big, huge celebrities saying that they're going to buy it. But nonetheless, if it does actually occur, now they won't be left high and dry just on different platforms and getting like dispersed to, you know, wherever the next place is that used to be Twitter for them or that used to be TikTok for them. Now they're actually going to have a new place to go which is really cool. And then of course, you're going to be able to leverage the personalized video feeds for better targeted marketing. And this actually goes for every platform right now, but I wanted to quick throw that in there because not a lot of you know that. A lot of platforms right now are really, really personalizing their, um, their like feeds and stuff. That way they're only feeding you everything that you want to see. And I'm sure you've noticed, especially on YouTube lately, I mean, I have been getting a lot of recommendations for videos that are, you know, anywhere from a hundred views to a million views. So it really doesn't matter anymore how many views you have or what your, um, like what your overall following is. It does help. However, if you have some content that is very well targeted and very well shows what's included within the content within your, um, like your captions and your copywriting and your titles and stuff. Like if you basically, if you tell the platform what your video is about without showing them in the video, if that makes sense, like show it in the written portions that AI can actually scan, they're going to be a lot more targeted than if you weren't to do that. You know, let's say it were like a workout video and you just posted something like, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what that would be, but just like something completely unrelated to, to what it is in the caption. Um, and then of course, utilizing those live streaming, uh, platforms for, or rather that live streaming platform for real time engagement with your customers. Hence what I'm doing right now. I'm a huge advocate for live video production for multiple reasons. One of which being you suck less <laughs> and, or rather you improve faster because in an instance like this, like obviously you guys have seen me fumbling what I'm saying and fucking up every once in a while while I've gotten through just the last few minutes. So imagine what this looks like for you. If you're live in front of somebody, you can't just go back and say like, oh, fuck, okay, uh, let me restate that and whatever. No, you just got to go because you have an audience to entertain. So Hopefully that will also help all of us creators who haven't gotten into live streaming. Hopefully that will be a kick in the ass to be like, yo, you need to go do this because this is what everybody else is doing. So your next steps, first of all, try not to freak out. Try your best. 
not to freak out because I know, especially with being a busy business owner, usually stuck in ops, it's hard to do social media as it is. That's why I do what I do. But especially getting into a new platform, it's uncharted territory. It's somewhere we've never, or it's something we've never seen before. It's somewhere we've never been before. Thus, that is going to produce a lot of stress because you're going to want to capitalize on when this platform actually comes out. But Here's how you get ahead of that. Do your research ahead of time to get ahead of the platform. And what I mean by that is do as much research as you can about what may be included in the platform. So looking at articles like um, the actually the reason that I found this out was through a New York Post article that led me down a huge rabbit hole of figuring out what Elon was trying to do. So if you guys want to like just get like free 10 minutes or even just like I don't know, in the bathroom with your phone, you know, like whatever, whatever it has to be, just use your few like spare minutes that you have to go down a rabbit hole and look up what things may or may not be included in this platform, such as, you know, the format, like, will it be the same? Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's like 120 something characters or whatever. Um, cause I don't really post on X that much cause that's not where my, um, ideal target is. But I know they have a very short amount of like characters you can have or whatever. So like looking at what those things are and what the nuances are going to be of this platform is just going to get you that much further ahead of everyone else who doesn't know about this and hasn't put the time in to learn that they're basically going to be taking to figure it out. You are going to be able to just keep rocking because you've already done the research and this like hands down and let me let me just get rid of this real quick um because i need you to hear me even if the videos are only 10 seconds by the way this applies even if they're like three seconds the same formula applies hook retain reward hook them in give them a reason to look at your shit. retain them give them a reason to continue watching your shit. and third reward them for watching your shit so that they want to watch it again. It's that simple. All you're going to have to do is figure out how to adjust that formula to the content that you make. And if it's not 10 seconds and you actually do get 60 to 90 or even, you know, 10 minutes like TikTok does, then you're not going to have to worry about it. It's just going to be another vertical short form video content platform that you're going to be on. But understand that humans have not changed in thousands of years. Actually, the best way that I've heard this described is we have the world's best and biggest supercomputer in our heads with one gig of RAM. <laughs> so what that basically means is like, like nothing has changed. Guys, we still get stressed out based on like someone, you know, sending a cold email to us or the response that someone gives us on a meeting or whatever, because we see that, or rather our brains see that as something that's actually life-threatening because thousands of years ago, you got that exact same feeling when, when you were being chased by a tiger in the jungle while you were trying to find some fucking food for your family. Um, so that's how this stuff works, guys. And I just need you to, to remember that like everyone in the space really enjoys freaking everybody out and making it seem super fucking complicated for what it actually is. And to be real guys, this shit is already complicated enough. It doesn't need to be made more complicated. I promise things will change with the algorithms and things will change the platforms, but those things are actually very easy to adjust to once you've actually done like 10 to 15 minutes of research. It's really not that hard. But what freaks out mo the most people is the fact that they have to change something or they feel like they have to change something. And it feels like a bigger change than it actually is. So don't freak yourself out too much as best you can help it. Just do what you can to make sure that, you know, you're following the rules, you're following the, um, like the, not the rules, sorry, the, um, the formula, you know, follow the formula. By the way, if you don't know what our formula is, it's in the guide section. It's under the formula. <laughs> That's exactly what the post is called. Um, and ours is a little bit different that we use for our, um, our clients just because mainly they're commercial clients. So we use, um, a formula that's called, um, hook problem solution proof CTA It's just a little bit easier of a way for us to create, um, mainly ads and stuff like that. But 
everything still applies just the same as hook retain reward. But now we're just simplifying that down and retaining them with a problem, a solution and some proof. So that's how that works. Um, so that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. So what is next for you? First of all, doing those things that I had just said. Um, but second of all, follow the YouTube channel. I'm posting a hell of a lot more on there, both these episodes and the full podcast episodes, um, along with some client work and a bunch of other cool stuff that we're doing. So be sure to follow that. It's just my name, part to cover, or you can look up, you know, youtube.com slash primate media or whatever. It's also just on our website. And then join our email list for exclusive trainings and updates. As we um, develop that platform, we're going to be posting a lot more stuff in there. So like today, I just released a exclusive podcast that no one else saw outside of the platform or outside of the Facebook group. So if you're not there, make sure that you get there because we're going to start releasing some exclusive stuff. And if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Um, all the links can be found at primeagemedia.com slash linktree. Also, little announcement. I, um, and actually, everyone in the email list found out about this first. So um, if you haven't seen it yet, I am offering paid consulting now. So if you want to see what all of this stuff will look like in your own business specifically, just go to, again, that same link, primeintermedia.com slash linktree, scroll down where it says uh, consult with Parker or something like that, and you can book your um, consultation with me. Those are 90 minute sessions right now. And we basically are going to go over everything that you need help with. Uh, that could be your video content strategy, some content that you already have, building out a brand, anything that you know that I can help you with essentially is um, what those consulting calls are for. So if you'd like to do that, um, again, it's primeintermedia.com slash linktree. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon.